It is Medical Monday here at THV11. Dr. T. Glenn Pate here with your medical mailbag <laughs> questions. Uh, first question is sent in by T. Glenn Pate, who says, what happens if I, I'm coughing before the newscast? Is, am I okay? Yeah, I think you're okay. You're okay? I, I don't okay. know. I, I'm going to have to look at him a little closer. I can tell you one thing. I think he's still alive. <laughs> you, you definitely are. Good news there. From the viewers, though, my husband and I are gardeners. We recently cleaned an area with poison ivy. My husband does not think we need to clean our tools. Give it time and the oil will go away. How long will the poison ivy on oil rather stay active? That's a great question. It is. A lot yeah. of people out in the garden nowadays, I think it's great they're out in the garden. It's good exercise. It's good for the well-being. It's good mental health. Mm -hmm. But you got to be careful with urusiol, and that's the oil. Okay. And it's still active on dead plants and even dried plants, and it can last mm -hmm. for anywhere from two to five years wow. out there on the plants. And also contaminated objects, contaminated objects anywhere from one to two years, you can get a bad reaction to it. So okay. I'm gonna tell you, keep on gardening, but you don't wanna take the urusiol back into mm -hmm. the house with you. So I think what you should do, well, wash those, uh, those hose and the shovels and all with soap and water. One to two gotcha. years it's gonna be on the, on the shovels and the dead plant, don't touch them. And, and Rob, whatever you do, don't burn them. Don't burn, know, them. burn don't burn them because it's going to cause all kind of mischief. Mm. Uh, respiratory, your lungs, your lungs. Your lungs. Yeah. Please don't do that. You'll wind up in the emergency room. Yeah, okay? don't but that. keep gardening. It's good. Yes, for sure. All right, I have a difficult time sleeping. Not, this is not me. It's someone else saying that. But yeah. <laughs> Can insomnia cause heart disease? Other than too little sleep, I'm a healthy 41-year-old woman. Yes, indeed. Too little sleep can indeed increase the risk of having heart disease. We're talking about hardening of the arteries, atherosclerosis, high blood pressure, and even heart failure. And it's thought that what happens is that you get a stress reaction, and that's going to activate other stress mechanisms, and that's going to lead to poor sleep. So yes, indeed, poor sleep can lead to heart disease. And what's interesting, there may be a genetic link mm -hmm. with this as well. There's something like 57 sites on genes that can lead to insomnia. So the bottom line, if you can't sleep and you can't get over within a couple of weeks, then you right. need to see a doctor because you can increase the risk of having heart disease. Final question that we have time for. My friends and I were wondering, <laughs> what have you recently read that you find interesting but shocking in medicine? Ooh. This is not a joke question. We hope no. you answer. Yes, it is. That's a great question. Thank you so much for, for asking me this because people always say, what's up, doc? And I'm going to tell you something very interesting. You ready for that? Yep. Tarantulas. You know, I, I, I like tarantulas. I know you do. You and have I, I have some tarantulas. So. And there's a tarantula toxin. And they found that this toxin is uh, an activation agent for a particular protein on intestinal nerves. So now the tarantula toxin will give an avenue for further research. That's fantastic. And how about those cockroaches? Mm -hmm. Nobody likes cockroaches, right? Well, believe it or not, the heads of cockroaches have eight to nine molecules, and these may be very good for antibiotic-resistant bacteria. How about that? So next time you step, uh, step on a cockroach, you know, think about they may help us in the future for those uh, bacteria. And also the wasp. Uh, they have antimicrobial, antiviral properties, and they may also open doors, ready for this, for Parkinson's disease. Now, this is fantastic. So the tarantula mm -hmm. is good in the news. Yeah. And cockroaches. Eat a cockroach. Yes, good. Indeed. you know, cockroaches, you know, we don't like them at all. I don't know anybody who likes cockroaches, but those molecules may provide mm -hmm. an avenue to help attack some of those bacteria. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's out there, and plus a good source of food. I love all the yes, nature indeed. remedies, the natural remedies out there. You know, in, in Mother Nature, they can they can they can help us. I love That's seeing right. that. Dr. Tegan, plate boom to you, sir. Boom, boom. Laura, boom over to you and uh, Sarah.